What is up, weather enthusiasts? I'm your host, Pat's Path Predictor. Let's get right into the weather. All right, so here's the situation we have for you, ladies and gentlemen. We have a very disorganized tropical storm, Sean, out here in the Atlantic Ocean, and we have a rather continuing to organize Invest 94L starting to meander closer and closer uh, through the main development region, and it is moving further and further away off the coast of Africa and is continuing to show signs of once again organization and development and is expected to continue showing that for the next several days or so. So here's the situation we have right now. We're going to start with Tropical Storm Sean and go over that real quickly for you guys to give you a better understanding of what's going on. Here, Here's the situation we have playing out right here. Currently the maximum sustained winds are 35 knots or 40 miles per hour. Minimum central pressure is 1,006 millibars. Current location is 14.6 degrees north, 41.7 degrees west, and it is moving west-northwest at 12 miles per hour, ladies and gentlemen. Here is the cone as right now. is expect It is expected to continue its weakening trend because pr previously it got up to a 45 mile per hour tropical storm briefly before eventually before the shear started taking effect, and then re and then finally. It's expected to get down to a depression by this point tomorrow. So that's definitely something we need to keep an eye on as this thing is expected to become an open wave and we'll have to see how this thing plays out in the long term to see if it'll redevelop or not. But here's the public advisory for you guys right now. Currently, tropical storm force winds extend outward 70 miles from the center. Pressure is 1,006 millibars, as I just said. And it is 1,180 uh, 1, miles west of the Cabo Verde Islands. Like it said here, Sean weakening. Because if you go ahead and we pull up the archive, at the previous advisory, it was a 45 mile per hour tropical storm. Pressure was 1,004 millibars. I fully anticipate that to be the absolute peak of Sean, as this thing is moving through pretty big shear, and it's not in the drier air uh, environment at this current point. So I don't really have any very many high prospects for it at this current point. Here's the discussion we have right here. Sean's structure and overall satellite appearance has begun to degrade. Deep convection associated with the tropical storm is limited in both strength and coverage as a result of dry air surrounding a uh, dry uh, surrounding air rather continue and continued westerly shear and has decreased noticeably in the last few hours. Recent intensity estimates estimate a uh, uh, range from about 25 to 45 knots but are generally lower than what they were. That's why it's 35 knots or 40 miles per hour right now. It is expected to dissipate in the next three days. Meanwhile, it is expected to weaken to a tropical depression in the next 24 hours, and then a post-tropical cyclone in the next 48 in the next 48 hours as we continue into this. So that's what we have going on with Tropical Storm Sean right now. Right now, not very many things going on with it at the current at this current time. But what I am paying attention to, and what everyone in the Caribbean Sea and what everyone in the Lesser Antilles should be paying attention to, is Invest 94L. I was talking with Weather Center Nazario about this last night. And this could potentially be a very major threat towards uh, those of you who are living in the Lesser Antilles, particularly around the Leeward Islands, maybe even the Windward Islands if it takes its time to develop. And if it does enter the Caribbean, that could only make things worse from then on out. So here's the th what we're looking at. This is Invest 94L, the advisory that just came out about five minutes ago as I'm recording this video. A broad area of low pressure located several hundred miles south-southwest of the Cabo Verde Islands continues to produce disorganized showers and thunderstorms. Environmental conditions are expected to become more conducive for development by the end of the weekend while the disturbance begins to move westward across the central tropical Atlantic. Additional development is expected after this. Uh, after that, and a tropical depression is, quote, likely to form during the early to middle portion of next week while the system moves steadily westward across the central and western tropical Atlantic. Chance formation in the next 48 hours is 20%. It was 10% yesterday. Now it is 20 And formation chance in the next seven days is 80%. Just for context sake, about 24 hours ago, it was at 40%. And where we were at last night... At the eight at the at the two a.m. outlook, we were at sixty percent. At the eight p.m. outlook, we were at fifty. So the chances have continued to really ramp up as time continues to go on. And this looks to me like this is going to be our pretty uh, pretty much the storm, as I like to say it. The reason I say it's the storm is because the reason uh, is because just you know. 
the steering currents are now finally projected to remain strong enough for this thing to finally enter the Caribbean Sea because if we go ahead and show you the, uh, the ocean heat content, the Caribbean Sea has been incredibly untapped all season long. And my concern is if the steering currents hold on for long enough and this thing takes its time to develop and doesn't really develop until it gets closer to the Lesser Antilles, well, the higher the chance we have of this thing entering the Caribbean. And through that, we have 30 plus degrees Celsius waters all over the place. We have 150 plus ocean heat content all over the place. It's And the conditions are just getting better and better when it comes to wind shear. So this is why I'm so concerned about it right now, ladies and gentlemen. And as we continue to get into this active weather period, be sure to check out my friends over at Prestige Weather Consulting. They do individual one-on-one -on -one weather consulting, cater to your local area. For more information, be sure to check out their link in the description down below. And be sure to use the code PREDICTOR for 50% off your first month. They've been doing a great job. They've been helping me with these videos. And they they do a great uh, job consulting. I've been using them. I highly recommend you check them out. But with that being said, we're going to go ahead and start with the European models. We're going to start with the operational models because you're probably wondering, Patrick, you're saying all these things, but what are the models saying? What are the models saying that really cross-check all this st stuff that you were saying? Well, here's what we're going to show you. This is the European model as of right now. This is the Zero Z European. As you can see with Sean, it's really sh not really doing that much. I'm not even paying that much attention to it, but I am paying attention to Invest 94L, which is this big blob of rain right here. At least this big blob for now. It's expected to start gradually organizing and then potentially developing starting in the next 72 hours. And then the Europeans actually having this thing starting to strengthen up to a strong tropical storm maybe even a Category 1 hurricane, but then it's it's actually unexpectedly, rather, forecast to weaken and then enter the Caribbean Sea from there. So we'll have to pay attention to it. I actually want to go ahead and look at the shear on this and see what's going on with it, uh, going on and why it's calling for this thing to weaken. So here's the shear at this current point right here. The shear, there's really not that much wind shear in association with this. So I, so I'm a little confused on why the Europeans calling for this thing to weaken right now. If we go ahead and show you the uh, the dew points and the relative humidity, there may be a bit of a reason because according to the European, there may be a little bit of dry air that may try to intrude it and maybe kill off the system. I wouldn't put your bets on that, folks. Primarily because it's still in a very good, a very good environment for development, at least up until it gets to the Antilles for that factor. So that's what we have going on with the European model at this current time. European has continued to show more and more of these suggestions and more and more of these operational models of this thing approaching the Antilles at the very least. So that's what we have for the European. Next model we're showing you is the GFS, and I will say. I don't exactly like the track the GFS is showing, and you'll see why I'm not so uh, really fond of it. So the GFS has 94L starting to organize and develop, and if we can continue to get if we can get this thing to keep going, um, showing signs of potential organization. However, the GFS is real is what it's showing is a potential collapse in the steering currents, and this thing just sh going from due west to due north in, in like 12 hours, which. I'm going to be blunt when I say this. I don't trust that one bit. I do I do not like none of the other models are really forecasting the steering currents to collapse that quickly. If it does, great, but the GFS I do not entirely trust. In fact, this is like 7 plus days out by the time it's calling for that. So, I would take that with a massive 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 grain of salt right then and out. But even so, if we give the GFS the benefit of the doubt, it's forecast to stay out to sea and kind of start approaching Europe that way. Once again, do not trust the GFS. All the other models are indicating something completely different to that. The GFS is the only outlier in this. So I just wanted to give you uh, give you guys that insight and keep that in mind. Next model we're showing you is the CMC model. CMC has been continuing to show very be very consistent with this. CMC is showing 94L kind of a little slow to organize and develop. The steering currents remain incredibly strong as this thing approaches the Lesser Antilles. It's not expected to really start organizing and strengthening that much until it approaches the Caribbean Sea. I must say that. And even still, uh, even still at that point, the CMC is a little conservative with the intensity forecasts at that current point. 
So with the CMC, with the CMC, it's expected to make uh, approach the Windward Islands further south than the European is anticipating it to. Then it's expected to kind of stall out and then uh, bring some impacts towards the Antilles, which. I'm not really liking that turn right there. Like it's calling for a collapse in the steering currents, which I will say is more reasonable at that t- time frame. But it's not that. It's not really that. I'm not. It's not really selling it that much, to be honest. So I'll have to keep an eye on it as time continues to go on. If we go ahead and show you the 12C CMC, since that just came out as we were talking uh, to you guys uh, through this recording right here, so 12Z CMC is showing something completely different. 12Z CMC is having this thing really starting to strengthen. The steering currents actually strengthen as it's approaching the Lesser Antilles. And then this thing makes landfall near Dominica, Dominica right there, or Dominica as I, I always call it. It's oh, Let me know it, how you pronounce it. Leave Let me know in the comments down below. It's I, I think it's Dominica right there, but anyway, it's expected. then moves through the Caribbean Sea, impacts Puerto Rico, and then shows signs of this thing potentially, imp- yeah, it shows signs of this thing impacting the Dominican Republic and maybe the Bahamas before turning out to sea. So that's what the CMC is really showing at this current point, and that's why I'm really on high alert at this current current time because the CMC has been very consistent. The European has been very consistent. The GFS has not been very consistent, but the nav gem has also been pretty consistent as well. So is the icon. So that's what, here's what we have with the nav gem at this current point. Nav gem has been very interesting pretty much all uh, around. The nav gem is still having Sean strengthening for some freaking reason at this current point. Don't trust the nav gem when it comes to Sean. It's in a heavily sheared environment, so I would take it with a grain of salt. The nav gem has been very interesting uh, down the road, to say at the very least. The nav gem has really been showing this thing starting to organize and starting to develop about 180 hours out, but it's really slow, and it's, to me, anticipating that it's going to be pushing further and further to the west, uh, uh, like uh, the CMC was anticipating. Last model we're going to go ahead and show you is the Icon. Icon, once again, we've been showing uh, showing you all these runs right here of what's been going on. The Icon model has been very interesting, to say at the very least. Icon has been showing some very good scenarios of what's going to be happening to say at the very least so this thing starts to organize and slowly develop while in the main development region and then it becomes a tropical storm and then a hurricane as it's approaching the antilles at, at 180 hours out it's a 959 millibar system 959 millibar potentially category 2 hurricane as it's approaching the leeward islands at this current point i'm not sure what the steering currents are going to do afterward the icon doesn't go further out than that but it's definitely something we have to pay attention to because at this point all the models except for the gfs are having this thing pushing further and further to the west and the steering currents and the climatology back up this thing potentially impacting the Antilles. How strong is it going to be? I don't know. Take all this with a grain of salt. This is still seven plus days out. I'm just reporting what's uh, what I, what's coming to my desk. Well, with that being said, we're going to go ahead and close the video out right here. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you are new. It helps us out, helps us make more videos like these. The goal of this channel is to get more people engaged with weather. Be sure to check out my friends over at Prestige Weather Consulting in the link to, in the description down below. And with that being said, have a wonderful day, guys. Stay safe.